Hello all, welcome to Rats Kitchen. Today we are doing an unboxing video of the Instant Pot Vortex Air Fryer. So let's get started. So I've been using this Philips Air Fryer for last three years and I have no regrets on this. Uh, so it has a good features. Uh, it has, it's a compact size and it has good features. But uh, since uh, the technology has grown a lot and now I thought it's time to upgrade. So I got this new Instant Pot Air Fryer Otex. Since I've been hearing this, a lot of good reviews in a lot of Facebook groups and a lot of from my friends. So I thought it's time for me to upgrade. So today I'm going to unbox this. This would be a beneficial for you if you need to uh, upgrade your air fryer for this Thanksgiving. So let me start this now. So, so they're given a manual and I think a little bit of a small book of air, instant pot air fryer recipes. So we'll look at this later. Now let's start uh, taking out all the accessories. So we have got some more accessories here. So let me take this out and we will show you all the accessories. I would like to show you all the accessories which came as part of the package. So I have this, uh, I think this is a rotisserie uh, box. So I don't know, let's see what is it. And, uh, I have emptied all the parts whatever was there inside and these are the plates which they have given. There are three plates. Let's see what uh, uh, what usage we have for these plates. The first thing we have to do is read the manual. So let's open the manual and see what they have given. Uh, anyway, we have to fix the parts first. So this is the precautions they have given and uh, I think they have it in all the languages. So they have given all the accessories what is used for. Altogether, we have four manuals. So I think two are for two are in French and uh, two are in English. So this is for the safety maintenance and this is like the getting started guide. So we'll start with this one. This is what we need right now. So as you see, this is the front view and they have given all the details about each and everything. So there's a cooking chamber, power cord, an oven door, a heating element and all the control panel here. So this is a drip pan. This has to be at the very bottom so that nothing drips here. So I think that's how it's set. If you're going to bake some chicken uh, strips or chicken fries, you can have, you have uh, two plates. Either here or you can move it a little bit up so that you have some space so you can do a large batch you don't need to wait for two batches so we can see the temperature how to adjust the upper one and the lower one if they have one so let's see that so this is how the grill trays goes in for the test run I'm going to air fry this chicken strips as per this product it calls for 360 Fahrenheit and for 11 to 12 minutes so I'm going to switch on the instant pot vortex in air fry mode. So let's start doing that. So let me press the air fry mode. So it immediately shows 360 Fahrenheit as by default. So I'm going to set it to 11 to 12 minutes. So let me put it 11 minutes and then I'm going to start. So it gives a long beep with on. It means that it's going to preheat the oven. Let's set this and keep it ready. So just a moment ago it gave me an alert to add food so I think the 12 minute uh, started counting down so let me put the tray inside so I'm going to put it on the top rack I'm going 
was showing me to turn food and so it's why it was beeping. So let me open this. It is super hot. Don't even touch anything on the glass. Let me use a mitten to flip the food. So as you see it's done 10 to 12 minutes it's super crispy and it's hot too uh, make sure to always have a mitten because this plate is very hot uh, so let's uh, give some time and we will taste it uh, in meantime let's go back to the other accessories with what we have so i'll show you the other accessories as you see these are all rotisserie accessories so they have given these two things to this is called the rotisserie spit uh, so if you're going to do a tandoori chicken or like a full full rotisserie chicken roast, uh, you can use this one. And uh, this is called the rotisserie basket. Um, I've seen some videos where they do the uh, french fries. So it starts rolling, so the heat is distributed evenly. So that's the purpose of this basket. So insert this bit here, don't bring it too much. So if you see there is a spot here, you have to bring till that point. This time it's going to take time. So I'm going to screw this one here. This is how you fix the rotisserie spit. So in case you have your chicken, your chicken, this will be poking inside your chicken so that the heat will be distributed inside the chicken. And this has to be slide inside. It's called the rotisserie lift. So you just use this to bring it in and install it inside and remove it outside from your inst uh, instant pot vortex. So use the rotisserie lift anytime so that it will be helpful. So let's uh, see the next accessory. So this is the rotisserie basket, at one side it is closed, the other side they have given a lid. So once you put the uh, your uh, whatever you would like to do, just close it with this one. So they have given you a, a lock sign here, to lock you have to go this side and for unlocking you have to go the other side. So you put this here and for lock you just do this. So now it's locked, so whenever it's revolving nothing is going to open up. Now let's test this um, chicken here. So you see it's cooked inside and it's crispy outside, just the way it has to be. So all the oil have already dripped under that dripping pan, so it's gonna be easy for me to clean. Um, so I will be cleaning once it's cooled down completely. It's already preheated, so I'm going to place the rotisserie basket here. The, the right side you have a place, a socket, where this lands are. On the other side, you have something called a catch, rotisserie catch. So you have to press this one to the side so that this moves out and then you place it, it locks. And now you can take the rotisserie dip out. And now you can say so. So I press the rotate and I've also switched on the light just to see the first attempt of rotisserie basket. One minute starts counting in seconds. Take this out. Make sure to use the rotisserie handle. So just pull it out and keep it here. Now you see the dripping pan usage. Everything is like you can. It's it's going to be very easy to clean up. In the Philips air fryer, once the crinkle cut is completed, I can immediately dump it onto a plate. But uh, I think on the other hand. Uh, this is going to take a little more time because it's pretty hot. So since I'm super excited, I just want to make it open. So I'm using some tissue paper here, kitchen paper, to open this. Okay, to wrap up, let's talk about my thoughts. As we have some more space and the capacity is 10 quad, it will definitely help for large batches or for any party preparations. And it has multi-purpose, it saves counter space too. Sleek design, noise reduction are other major features one could notice. For newbies, the instructions are pretty clear and clear indications when to add or flip the food. 
In this slide, you see the pros and cons of Philips and Instant Pot Vortex air fryer. Hope this video was useful for you to decide to buy any hot deals which come for Instant Pot Vortex. Feel free to share your thoughts or your experiences with Vortex, which will help me and the viewers. Thanks for watching.